Hi, this is David Dusak, Senior Writer with Golf Week Magazine, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Expert, the place where you get to ask me anything you like about golf equipment and what's going on on the PGA Tour. So while I was working the barbecue grill last weekend, one of my buddies came up to me and asked me a golf question that I get about eight or ten times a year, which is basically, do the guys that I see on TV, the guys on the PGA Tour, really use the same golf equipment that I can go down to my golf specialty store and purchase? The answer is yes, with a couple of caveats. First and foremost, the guys on the tour get access to equipment well before people uh, at retail can purchase it. For example, Matt Every put a set of True Temper Dynamic Gold AMT shafts in his irons, his Callaway irons, when he won at Bay Hill. You can't buy those shafts just yet. From what uh, True Tempers told me, those shafts are probably going to be on their way in 2016. They weren't even available to guys on the web.com tour at the time that Matt Every won with them. So that's just winning with a prototype set of equipment that is earmarked for retail. You can't get it yet. Um, there are some players who use holdover equipment. For example, golf balls from maybe previous generations. You can't purchase them anymore, but because they fit their game so well, there are a handful, just a couple of guys, that may be using a golf ball that is two or three generations old, they still use it for a couple of years. Eventually, they phase into more current products, but they are out there. Um, you also are going to run into a couple of situations where there are prototype pieces of equipment that have such a small market. Um, they're such a niche product that they are made available to guys on the PGA Tour, but they have either no intention of being brought out to retail, or if they are brought out, they're really only for golf specialty stores. Adam Scott, for instance, just recently put in a Titleist, uh, excuse me, a Titleist 950 D5 driver. Titles is really mum about this driver, but Adam Scott has got it in his bag, and it's not something that you're going to see most likely anytime soon at retail. Now, some products are also only made available theoretically to foreign markets. So for those of us here in North America, we wouldn't see product very often that is going to be made for the Asian market. But I know that a couple of years ago, Phil Mickelson was in a Callaway truck at the British Open and happened to see Royal Ishikawa's putter, his Odyssey putter, and that was made for the Asian market. He liked it so much that he had the guys from Odyssey make him a left-handed version of that putter, and he did put it in play uh, a few years ago. Now, there are most times, the only thing that's really holding you back from using the stuff that the pros use is price. A lot of those aftermarket shafts are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. A lot of the specialty work, the grinding on wedges, the stamping, a lot of the mixing and matching that they do all the time because they don't have to pay for their stuff, they'll do that and that's probably going to be prohibitive to most people who are going to be watching this video. So really, more than anything else, it's price that's going to hold you back from playing the stuff that guys are using on, on the tour. But if you've got the money and if you've got the passion for it, it's all there for you. Listen, what also is there for you is an opportunity to have me answer one of your questions. So please feel free to email me at ddusek at golfweek.com or hit me up on Twitter at, at golfweek underscore dusek. Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.